Hi there Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your September 11th through the 17th weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. If this doesn't resonate with you, then it wasn't meant to. Um, I have pre-shuffled these cards for you as well. So we have some fast moving energy, um, right? The very first card, that Knight of, Cor Cor Knight of what? Knight of Swords is um, fast moving. Somebody who's very opinionated, hasty. Um, then we have the Hermit. That's a time of introspection, a time of going in, a time of restraint, of refocusing on who you are, all right? And it takes inner strength to do that. It does. It takes courage and confidence. So I think that this week... You know, you are, you're working so far at the beginning of the week, it looks like you're going within, okay? Maybe you've been feeling stuck in a situation. Maybe you've had some heartache. And um, if you haven't, maybe it's on the horizon. I mean, you feel like you're stuck in a situation, like you have some regrets, or you maybe you even feel like a victim. Maybe you feel like you're a victim of circumstance. It looks like you could be feeling um, a little emotional, perhaps. Um, yeah, I see some, some definitely there's some emotions here this week, um, and you do need to go within and find your strength, okay? Sorry, I thought I heard somebody knocking outside. Sorry about that. Um, anyhow, I do see that there's some decisions that need to be made. There's some decisions. There's some choices. It looks like you. I see that you maybe have been um, pretending about a situation or ignoring a situation and maybe you're wanting to start a new path all right i think that you're wanting to start a new journey or take a new path and it's time that you ne need to make a decision on what you want to do um i see that in front of you there's something that you know there's something exciting right ahead of you there's an exciting new discovery something that is very challenging and dares you you know there's a very daring challenging exciting discovery right ahead of you which makes you um and i think you're going to be very i think you're feeling grateful okay so it's it's weird energy because it starts out feeling like a victim or maybe you're removing that energy of feeling like a victim okay because over here you're feeling like a victim you're feeling like a victim of circumstance and you have some heartache it goes from heartache and sadness to feeling grateful and excited. So it's really, I mean, it's two totally different energies. Um, it's a time of going within, a time of refocusing on who you are. Perhaps that's when you something changes. It's like a switch or something. That's what it looks like to me. All right. And maybe you go from being emotional to not so emotional 
all right? So, yeah, I definitely see some, like, switches being up and down, you know, being turned on and turned off. Um, this is ignoring a situation. You go from being emotional to almost, like, cold. That's what's going on here. You know, because this is, this is a, things not turning out the way you want. This is escaping a situation. All right. It's escaping a situation that you just can't, you can't pretend anymore. It's time to leave the situation. All right. And it causes some heartache. Maybe, I mean, you're, it looks like you're going to take a, another, you're going to focus your energy in a different direction. Or you're thinking about what direction that you were want to focus your energy in or what direction you want to go. I see that there's a fork in the road and you're going to be, you're, it's time to make a choice. The fork, you are at the end of the road and it's time to make a choice. Do you go this way or this way? That's what it is. That's why the energy changes so much. It's going to take confidence and courage and strength and inner wisdom. That's what's going to get you through this. All right? Either way, it's very... Um, there's a lot of gratitude to be had when you make your decision. Okay? Because she's very grateful for all that she has. <laughs> Seems like I keep hearing noises. Oh, geez. I don't think anything bad. I just maybe there's an animal on the deck. We live in the forest. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. There's some there's an exciting new discovery right ahead of you, okay? That's something that is going to make you feel completely satisfied. All right. So whatever is in front of you is exciting, exciting, and you will be completely satisfied. You will be feeling completely abundant. And you won't feel like you're lacking for anything. All right. That's right ahead of you. When you make your decision, there won't be any lacking. This is a time of healing. All right, this is a time of letting go, making a decision quickly, moving forward, going forward with the plan, you know, moving forward quickly, just, you know what, doing it, seriously, doing it. After a time of making your decision, you take some time out to make a decision and you're, that's over and you just do it. You choose the path. You choose the what's going to happen next. And it leads to happiness. The ultimate happiness. And healing. Because you made a decision. This week's about making a decision. And doing it quickly. Because you're feeling like you're stuck somewhere that you don't really want to be. The decision is about being stuck somewhere. And feeling like a victim when you're not really a victim. She can get out. She can run. She's not even tied down. Sorry, I get so excited. But she's staying there even though she doesn't really want. She must want to. But she can't really stay there for so long before. She's like, you know, I can't do this anymore. I'm fine. I'm going to go. 
because she can. I mean, she's not even. She could just leave at any time. So that's a that's a message for you. Brings happiness and healing. So whatever it is that's keeping you stuck, I don't know what it is. Could be anything. It's about making a decision and doing it. Quickly, make the decision and, and do it. Leads to happiness, healing, and, and abundance. Seriously. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. Anybody. If you're feeling stuck in a situation and you need to ask somebody for something or have a communication with somebody or whatever you got to do, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. Could be family or friends. If that's what you need. For support to get unstuck. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, leads to healing and happiness, but anyway. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. That's a good one, isn't it? That one right there is perfect for you. It really is. This will help you. Trust. This is a big deal. Big deal. Have faith and trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith and trust. To move forward on your path, it leads to happiness and healing in abundance. Make a decision on which way you are, where you're going to focus. That's what the hermit is here. It's time to refocus. What are you going to do? Make a decision. It's time. So, Aries, that is what I have for you for this week. Talk to you later.